Hi everybody and as you know from the previous video that we have two problems the first problem that we cannot receive a notification when the app in the foreground for example this is John and let me just send him a message hello there and click send as you can see the message has been sent but we're not able to receive it on the other device and that is the first problem and the second problem is that we when we receive the notification in the background let me just test this again hello there so now as you can see we have successfully received the notification but when we click on the notification nothing really happened only the notification dismissed and to be able to fix that let's get back to our code and uh, let me just show you something if you remember that we included a click action in our notification inside the payload this click action we need to associate it with specific activity in our application so the android app we know which application will start when the notification is clicked so it will, it will match the click action available in the received notification and it is this with the actions that are available in the android manifest for each activity and then it will start the appropriate activity so let's copy this click action it is just a thing let's go back to android studio and move to android manifest.xml and we need to start this specific activity users list activity and of course in a real world app you would have for example a separate notification activity but we don't really want to create for now so let's, let's create uh, this and let's include an intent filter intent filter and inside this intent filter let's include an action and this action will have a name that it will equal to the click action that the notification have and then let's close this uh, let's close this tag and also include the category to be name default dot intent dot dot category default and let's close this uh, tag so now when the notification have uh, clicked and we have this tag of course right here it will know which activity to restart so this is not enough we also need to implement the firebase background service and in this service we will write the code that will start this activity and to show the notifications in the foreground because now this is not our only problem we have two problems that the notification cannot be received in the foreground and when we click on the notification it doesn't start or do anything start an activity or do anything so let's go ahead and create the firebase services firebase background service create a new class right click on your packet name and kotlin file or class you can name it anything i'm gonna name it for fcm service and this let's create the class and this class should extend the firebase messaging service and the firebase messaging service it also needs a constructor and it has only one method we need to override and it's called on message received and this on message received will be called once the notification is received on the background so we need to write some code right here in order to show the notification even if the app is in the foreground as you can see we have the remote message and uh, we can access it and grab the information in the remote message and those information will be the same as this so it will have a body have a title and it will have an icon so let's get back and write val title and it will equal to the remote message let me just rename this to be more clear and let me just fix this because we changed the, the parameter name and the remote message we can access the notification and inside this notification we can access the title okay so now we have the title 
let me just uh, put this double exponential mark and then let me just duplicate the line also we need the body of the method so we have body and then we need to have the click action and I'm gonna call it action so now we have the title the body and the action uh, because we have an action right now we can actually create an intent and eventually this intent can be used to open the activity so that is very easy wow intent equal to intent and this intent will require the action so now this action will start this activity because the tag included is the same that we have right here okay so let's get back to our uh, firebase messaging service so now we need the intent but unfortunately the notification cannot work with intent specifically we need to create a pending intent so wow pending pending intent will equal pending intent dot get activity and we need a couple of things we need the context and then we will need the just uh, let's put it request code zero and then we need the intent and we will pass in intent and last but not least we need the flag and the flag will be will be pending intent dot flag dot update current so this flag will do if there is already an activity opened we will update the activity so we re replace the old activity if it exists so now we have the bending intent and we have the intent we have this let's go ahead and show the notification because this method will be called and the notification will not be shown by default in the foreground so the firebase will only call this function and it's your responsibility to create a notification so for that let me just create a private fun and it will be called show notification and it will take a couple of things it will take a title of type string and again it will take a body of type string and it will take an intent of type pending intent so now we have these three things right here let's go ahead and pass it to the functions we have the title and then we have the body and lastly we have the pending intent so now we have these three we want to include right now so now we have a problem right here we need to ensure that those are not null so we will need to include those explanation marks so now let's implement and show this notification so let's go ahead and create the notification and first thing we need to check if it's the current android studio sdk is above or equal to android o because with android o and above android team or google introduced the concept of notification channel so you must create a notification channel if you want to target devices from android o and above that is the android oreo or android 8 so if we have android o and above we need to create notification channel and first let's construct its properties and the importance will be notification manager dot importance default and then let's create the channel notification channel and it needs a couple of things we need a channel id this is just a string and the name and it's also a just string and of course the importance then we will specify the description so you can write in description here if you want then let's go ahead and register the channel with the system so we can send the notification so go ahead and get the services of the notification manager by calling get system service notification service and then cast it using as notification manager as is used for casting in kotlin and then use the notification manager to create the notification channel and pass in the channel object and finally let's go and close this thing so we need to create a channel if it's android o and above and if it's not let's go ahead and uh, construct the notification by creating a notification builder and the context will be this and the channel id must be the same of this channel id and then set the small icon so android has a couple of icons so it is not on my drawable as you can see from here because it is in the android drawable so it is default icon android r drawable ic dialog info and then let's set the content title the content text the body of the message and then the priority notification compared prior to default set content intent and this is the intent that will be called and it is a bending intent and of course it will start the activity 
and then set auto to cancel true and when you set it true when you click on a notification it will be dismissed automatically so this is auto cancel mean finally let's create a notification manager again from the contact and then use this notification manager method notify and buzzy and this is a random id or a unique id it doesn't really matter then we need to build and send the notification because this is a builder you need to build you need to build the notification first and this should get the job done one more thing we have the firebase service but this firebase service we need to include it inside the android manifest if we didn't do that it will not work so here make sure you inside the application tag and out of any activity go ahead and create a service right here and choose the fcm class service that you have create and open the close and open tag and inside this we need to create an intent filter for this fcm service because we do we want to tell the android system that this specific service will handle the messaging event so by using this we can just say action name com google firebase messaging event so if the if we receive the notification from firebase this service will take care of that so now let's run the applications and see the result i will run it on my post emulators and see if it works fine or not so now if we send the notification to john from this device we should be able to receive the notification because the app in the foreground right now let's go ahead and click send and we should be able to receive the notification now as you can see we have the notification and the app in the foreground as you can see you got a new message hello there and let me just put it on the foreground or even close it if we click on this we should be landed on the users list activity so let's go ahead and do it and as you can see now we are in the users list activity so now we fix it both of the problem and everything works as we expected Thanks for watching and this is the final video of this playlist. If you stick around for the end of the video, go celebrate. Thank you. Have a nice day.